Every now and then, Renault create a car that's revolutionary. From inventing the saloon car to being the first in Europe to sell a people carrier, they've been known to produce genuine motoring milestones, and this could be their next. Meet the Twizzy. In the simplest possible terms, it's an electric city car, but that doesn't really do it justice. Not only could this be the best use of electric car technology yet, it could change the way we get about cities forever. The two-seat Twizy is barely bigger than a motorbike, but has more in common with a car. Four tyres, a steering wheel, even crumple zones and an airbag. And as its 3.4 metre turning circle is less than half that of a London cab, it should be perfect at weaving through cities. Driving it feels very familiar. It's got a normal steering wheel, normal pedals. Everything feels weighted as it would do in a normal car. Yet somehow, because you're so much closer to everything, it feels like you're going twice as fast. And you can see the front wheels. So you can place it exactly where you want it. It accelerates with that brilliant electric motor instant torque. You press your little electric go button and whing, instant. If you were to design a city car from scratch, you design it with an electric motor. The suspension seems quite rigid, but in something so tall, I think that's probably a good thing, so you don't feel like you're lolloping around. I'm not gonna try and roll it. I could try and roll it. I tell you what, I'm going to go down this straight and approach this hairpin slightly too fast. Ooh, it understeers like a trolley, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna roll over. It feels like the center of gravity is very low down. Its 15 kilowatt electric motor sits under the passenger seat and gives a heady top speed of 47 miles an hour, but that's not the best bit. The best bit is that it actually goes on sale later this year and will cost just £7,000. Admittedly, that is entry level car money, but for the city, I genuinely think this makes more sense. After a full three and a half hour charge, the Twizy has a range of around 60 miles. While that's only half that of full-sized electric cars like the Nissan Leaf, it does mean that the Twizy can go far enough to actually leave the city. <laughs> Suddenly, it feels like a totally different beast. It actually feels quite long-legged. Oh man, I'm going off-road. Uh, I'm taking a twizzy on the grass. I'm gonna try and get some wheel spin. Yes! <laughs> because it's technically classed as a large quadrisarch, you're actually allowed to take it on motorways. I'm not sure how happy I'd be sitting in the slow lane behind a big articulated lorry. But if I wanted to nip cross country to a friend's house from the city, I'd be well happy with the wind flapping in my ears, and a nice bit of sunshine coming through the glass roof. As it's a quadricycle, the Twizy doesn't have to go through the same Euro NCAP safety tests as proper cars. It does feel very safe and stable, but would you want to crash it at top speed? Driving in the rain would be unpleasant too, because even the optional doors only cover the bottom half of the cabin. It's easy to criticise this for not being totally weatherproof, etc, etc, but you have to remember it's £7,000. This is an incredibly safe rival for a scooter. Without any doors and without any Euro NCAP stars, this isn't a replacement for other city cars like the Hyundai i10 or Smart Car. What it is though, is an inspired new way of getting people about a city and making the most out of electric car technology. This is Renault's best revolution so far.